Oh, oh, oh. There we go. There's a fish. Coming at me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. 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 Oh my God, look at that. Hey, hi, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today, John and I are gonna be doing a little challenge. We're gonna be using the kayaks from Old Town. John's got his bougie, expensive one, and then I got the little solo discovery one that's pretty bare minimum. It's almost like a canoe, and we're gonna see which one does better. You guys have been liking the 1v1 content and brother aspect so much, we decided to bring back another installment of it, and what better way to do it than send it on our kayaks on the water, and this, this body of water has some pretty good fish in it, actually. Actually, we got pike, northern, uh, same. Those are the same fish, I guess. Crappie, bluegills, bass, like a lot of different things. Carp, like I don't even know what's in here, but there's also potential for state records. I believe. I believe there's a state record caught out of here last year, and uh, I'm not really sure if we're gonna catch a state record today. But if we do, that'd be insane. Today's video is gonna be sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. They're helping us out, and if you guys don't know what Carl's Bait and Tackle is, it's basically an online shopping mall for fishermen. Okay, you can get all sorts of stuff on there: hats, hoodies performance stuff baits rods reels they have everything you could ever want on there so definitely go out check out the link you guys can save up to 30% off on some items on that website if you're Carl's Club member and there's also tackle insurance now those guys over there provided tackle insurance I'm not hundred percent sure how it works but basically if you get a bait and you lose it or something like that or if it came disoriented you can send it back and get a brand new one so that's kind of a cool thing that I don't see any other tackle organization doing so definitely go check them out so right here as you guys can see this is the discovery solo 119 it's a kayak canoe hybrid as you guys can tell it's not very big it's pretty bare minimum it's got a couple rod holders for you it's got a little drink cup in the middle and then it's got some little compartments you can put stuff in I got the paddle right here mine is not motorized but the one that I do have is at home and that one's motorized but this thing's pretty sexy it paddles really easy and uh, it's way lighter than mine. A That's lot an lighter, a lot lighter, which kind of might not be good if there's some wind. Obviously, this spot is pretty protected. As you guys can tell, there's not much wind today and I should be good to go in this little kayak. But if you were going out on a bigger body of water and some wind, that would be your better option. But if you're just hopping around small ponds, this is definitely the one to go with. I mean, you can just paddle around the whole pond if you want. And then also dragging it from your car down to the lake or the pond, it's a lot easier than carrying that beefcake. That one takes almost two people unless you got the wheels. And even then, it's still pretty heavy. All right, then we come over here to my bougie setup. This is the Autopilot 120. This is my baby. You guys see me using this all the time. It has a remote control. It has a trolling motor up top. Uh, bougie seat. I have a lithium amped battery in there. A lot of you are asking what batteries do you use to power all of your electronics and stuff like that. The amped batteries are what I suggest. It'll be linked down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, not much to it other than that. I'm not bringing, I didn't bring the pan optics, but I do have a little ram mount right here. If I wanted to get my deucer out, you just turn it this way and put the ball on this one and the deucer goes down there. I have a remote so I can drive around. I can put it in spot lock, which is a huge advantage uh, to Sam and to any other anglers that are fishing. They have to bring their own anchors usually. However, since I have the capability of pushing a button to keep me one spot on top of fish, I like to utilize that a lot. Well, enough talking, we're gonna get fishing. We're gonna do a, I don't know, like an hour or so challenge should we do most fish wins or yeah most, fish, most, most fish. fish most fish wins we'll do a 12 inch minimum whatever species if you get a 12 plus inch fish that counts as one point whoever has the most points at the end of the hour wins the battle and takes home the crown the bragging rights between the brothers this is always kind of fun going against the broha and you know the last challenge you won. i actually won a challenge guys um which never happens sam usually class me so if you guys are rooting for me drop a comment down below if you're rooting for sam drop a comment down below and while you're at that might as well hit the like and the subscription button as well and notifications turn them all on all right let's get started all right the challenge is beginning i'm gonna get my kayak in here we're just gonna push her in now this one's a little bit more tippy than john's is for say but it's still pretty stable and i'm just gonna sit down here we're off baby let the challenge begin okay we got the paddle 
we're paddling around now there's some pretty good structure in this lake i'm not really sure where i want to start there is an island with a whole bunch of little humps and stuff and these fish are pre-spawn so i think i'm going to head over here in this direction as you guys can tell i'm flying pretty freaking fast right now we've already gone a good 50 yards probably with just a few paddles oh it gets shallow up here okay i'm liking this we're just gonna put that there take out our bait of choice it is a saucy swimmer black and blue chatter bait from the guggen squad that we actually got from carl's we're just gonna cast her out there and uh, there's a lot of weeds in here too but basically we're just gonna slow reel it give it some pops let it sink a little bit see if we can't catch any fish all right i am just getting ready since sam has more of a lighter weight and like less stuff to worry about with his kayak he can fish faster than me all right that's one advantage i'll give to him but he has to paddle i can just troll around it's gonna be hilarious which reminded me i might need my remote okay so before you go in the water you need this key and you need to plug it in this little red thing down here to make it go so we plug that inside okay now we got to drag this 500 pound kayak into the water oh, boy. Ah. oh that actually went a lot better than i thought i was gonna go okie dokie step in i think i'm gonna die just kidding i'm good let me get over here all right okay Woo. we're in okay let me scooch this up a little bit I think I just need to pull this lever now. I should bring my motor down. All right, you heard that little beep. That means we have power, which is good. That's essential. Let me grab a little remote right here. Turn the motor on. Sam is so screwed. I'm fishing. Look at this. I'm not fishing, but I'm driving around. Not a care in the world. Don't have to paddle. Mm. So I think I'm going to start right here and work my way around the island. Sam's going to work the other way. And we'll meet up eventually. And we'll see... Who has the most fish at the end of this? I'm standing up right now and I don't... Oh my God, there's a bass right here. There's literally a bass right under me. Oh crap, okay. Oh God, there's a bass right here. Dang, that was my fault. I should not have done that. I just scared it. All right, I'm going to kick it on anchor mode, which is going to keep me in one spot and I'll be able to not move, which is nice. I'm going to grab a rod and you guys are going to laugh what I'm using right now. It is May. Freaking May like 9th or 10th or something like that. And I want to use the old whopper plopper. Okay, some may say it's too early. However, I want to see if I can get some top water blow ups for you guys because if I can get some of those, I feel like you guys will really like this video and you'll drop some likes on the video. So I got that big old whopper plopper, the Guggen Squad Gold Series Reaction Rod. Give us a toss out there, work this bank parallel, and just toss it out there and straight reel in. And hopefully, I'll get a boom oh oh did you see that oh i just got destroyed second cast i got a fish on the old plop daddy i believe this is a pike i really don't want to lose this lure so i'm gonna oh this has to be a pike right oh he let go no oh i missed the first fish of the day gosh dang it but i just work in this bait parallel and that pike wanted it oh my goodness oh that was super cool though okay these fish might be eating top water today this could get interesting hold on try cast this way working the ledge with the plopper in may oh my god oh did you guys see that bite oh my god that was huge pike dude who would have thought they'd be munching top water right now? Wow. Oh, there's one fall. Oh, there's one. Look at that one. He followed me all the way in. I watched him eat it. That was so cool. Oh, I really don't want to touch him though because I hate pike. Ew. Fish number uno of the day. A greasy little pike. That was so cool. I saw him follow me all the way in and I was like, oh God. That's crazy. Fish number one. There we go. See you later, snot rocket. All right, I'm switching up to a rattle trap. Just a little lipless crank. We're gonna see how this goes. It's a red color with some green on it. Oh, I got cranked. 
How do they not get hooked up? There we go. There he is. What is this? Pike? I'm guessing big pike. Pike or bass? Oh, it's a little pike. It's not even that big. There we freaking go. First fish for me. I don't know if Johnny Boy is on the board or not, but look how we ate that thing. There we go. First fish for me going back in. First fish on a lipless crank. I've been getting bites on it, so that's a good sign. Hopefully there's a few more fish in here. I, want, I really want to catch a big largemouth. Even though I want to win the competition, I kind of want to catch a big largie. Oh my gosh. Oh, did you guys see that? Did you see that one? <laughs> oh, I want to catch a largey on this. Come on now. So when you're looking at all these head shakes, oh my God, chill. Please do not bite me off. Please do not bite me off, my guy. When I get a bite, I don't set the hook like I would conventionally with like a jig or something like that. If I'm bass fishing, you just reel into it, okay? With these troubles, you don't want to set the hook. That's a pro tip for you guys right there. This is a really cool looking pike. Oh, fish number two for me, little pike. All right, fish number two for me. Man, if I want to catch bass, I know I probably shouldn't be throwing this, but it's just too much fun catching topwater fish right now. Like I haven't done this in forever. It's like, I almost got to do it for you guys, right? Here we go, there's a fish. This might be a bass. Yeah, it's a bass. Oh, it's a nice one too. It's a tanker, bro. He's fighting hard. Get up in here. Oh, you see that? Came right out. First bass for me. This is what we've been looking for. A little green guy. We're gonna get him right back in there. See you later, my dude. Sweet. So I got, I don't even know how many, what do I got? Two fish now? I got two fish landed. Um, I got a few fish lost. And then, yeah. John, John caught one though. You suck, bro. Two. I've lost. There we go. Hooked up again. This is big. This is big. This is big. This is big. Oh, it's a pike. That's why it feels big. Okay, holy cow. I'm getting excited for no reason, man. This is nuts. Uh-oh. Here's fish number three for me. He's going right back in. I kind of hooked him in the gill funny, so... He was bleeding. I wanted to get him back in right away. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, the pike are loving this bait, dude. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm not a big pike guy. But when I can watch him explode on top water like that, I'm definitely going to do that. Look at him. He's running. All right. Come on, guy. Oh, my God. Shoo! It's a nice pike. Holy crap. He wanted that plop, daddy. Another good-looking snot rocket. Send him back down. See you later, my guy. <laughs> All right. That's fish number three for me. There's a largey right here. There's a largey right here. Oh, 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 no. I was trying to catch a largey. I was going to reel in and throw the rattling net, and then this freaking pike came out of nowhere. What the? F no. Ugh. All right, pike number four of the day for me. I rolled up over here in the shallows, and I saw a really nice bass. I tossed in the whopper flopper at, at, at it to see if the bass would bite, and I saw it swimming away, so I was quickly reeling it in to make a cast with my Ned rig, and unfortunately, that pike bit it and ruined it. But hey, that's another point. That is four fish for me now. That's, that's awesome. There we go, there's a fish. Coming at me. Ooh, 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 oh, 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 it's big. It's big, big. Holy sh, oh, that's my PB. That's my PB. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, that's big. Oh, 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 oh
might not be big for some of y'all from other states, but that is big for South Dakota. Oh my God, let's go, let's go. Oh, look how we ate that thing, it's just gone. We just got the hook out, look at that frickin' Oh, John's coming over, we're gonna get him in the water. Oh my God. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my God, look at that, look at that. Oh my God, dude. All right, I just caught my fifth fish of the day, fifth pike, and I just heard Sam screaming, he said he caught his PV, so that's interesting, but I'm up to five now. <laughs> baby, Sheesh. look at that thing, Sheesh. Dang, Daniel, that's a fatty. Right? I've never caught a fish this big, I don't think. I was tweaking, I thought it was gonna be like eight, bro. When I first saw it, I was like, oh! <laughs> I was tweaking. But like, dude, they're annihilating it. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Dude, they've been hammering me. Dude, I'm, I've been so scared of getting hooked. Here we go. We tied it up, I think, with that fish. Five, five, eh? All right, guys, I just went over here to check out that big fish that Sam caught. And uh, yeah, it's definitely Sam's PB. Okay, so new PB, which is lit. That thing was giant. But I am, like, kind of tired of catching pike like even though catching pike is fun i've really i've noticed that the bass are not loving it i want to catch some big bass so what i've seen is a lot of weeds and uh i can sight fish these but i think what i'm going to do is tie on a weightless wacky rig however the problem is i don't have any lunker logs with me but i do have some guggenbait crack and cross so i'm thinking i'm going to do weightless crack and cross i have a hunch that i'm going to start smacking the big bass so i'm going to tie this on and go after bass now it's tied five five all right, so now I'm going on a sight fishing bass mission. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to the shallows and turn my trolling motor down to like three. And I'm just gonna troll the shallows and look for bass. And when I see one, I'm gonna flip in and uh, maybe hit spot lock too if I wanna stay in one spot. And I went weightless because I want that slow fall effect. And there's so many weeds here that if I had a weight on it, it would just ruin the whole operation. I see a bass right here, but it doesn't look Big enough for me to try okay there's a bass right here hold up hold up hold up bass right here. hold up hold up let's see if my let's see if this works yeah is it there we go yes okay so sight fishing mission is a success <laughs> that was so freaking cool dude okay well i guess that didn't take very long the weightless approach definitely did her dirty i'm spot locked right now and i'm not gonna move Yes, sir. <laughs> Such a nice fish. He turned on it immediately. There we go, six. I'm at six now, it's my first bass of the day. Put down the plop, daddy, even though the explosions were really fun to watch. I wanna catch some big bass and I think this is my ticket. Oh, I got cranked, whatever this is. Hammered it. Doesn't feel that big right now, but it could be just and funny you gotta keep up with them here swimming at me you're done fighting thank you ow 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 oh and i suppose that's why you don't wear nice clothes fishing well there's fish number i don't even know but i mean um yeah i don't know if you guys can see that my uh paints are kind of ko'd now i don't i don't really know what that strat is um that is tough though Here's one right here. He's gonna be coming right under the boat. I just spooked him. Oh, there he is, right here. Okay, my bait's going directly on him. He's right here. Hopefully this fluorocarbon works. Now my bait is to the point where I can't see anything anymore. I got him. There we go. Oh. That was so cool. So gnarly, dude. So gnarly. Oh my God, sight fishing bass. If you haven't done it, you definitely gotta do it. The light line, light tackle approach, the subtle bait that I chose because of the weightless, that is just the key, super key. And then the fluorocarbon and all this tackle and stuff you can find on Carl's Bait and Tackle, which you should definitely do because you can catch fish like this. There you go. I believe that's my seventh fish. Only my second LMB, but I really like how I'm fishing right now. Like probably catch more fish if I was fishing a different way, 
but why would I want to do that if I can sight fish these and like roll up on them and choose what fish I want to catch? To me, that's really cool, but there we go. There we go, that's big. Built big at least. I don't even know what number of fish I'm at. I've lost count. I just got too hypo about that one PB bass I caught. I don't really care about these pike anymore, about winning the competition. I'm just after breaking my PB twice here. Hopefully that would be epic. There we go. See you later, my dude. Thanks for playing. I thought you were a lot bigger than what you were, but hey, you're a fish man. Okay, there's a lay down right here. I'm gonna cast right at this lay down slash log. I can't see any fish right now, but I'm just, I have a hunch there might be a fish right there. So I'm just gonna pre throw a cast there without rolling up on it and potentially scaring fish. Oh, I just got, yeah, I, just, I think I just got, wait, I just get bit off my apple. There we go. Oh, that worked out. Oh, it's a pike, gosh dang it. Please don't snap me off. Good God, these fish are big, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just clapping these fish. All right, there's my, I believe, se seventh or eighth fish. I can't remember, but he was on that log. I knew there was gonna be a fish. I did not think it was gonna be a pike. Okay, I'm gonna parallel this bank right here, and there's gonna be a fish. Okay, yep, I'm 100% catching a fish right here. There's no way. It might be a pike, but there, yep, see, told you. There we go. I knew, like, I was like, there's no way. There we go. Number, I don't even know anymore. I think, I want to say eight or something like that. I don't really know. See you later. Yep, there's a fish. It looks like it's on a bed. I can't tell if this fish is on a bed or not. Oh, oh there he is, there he is, there he is. I was driving to go do some sight fishing because the sun came back out and I thought I saw a fish like what it looked like it was on a bed. It's right over there, but I don't see him anymore. And I saw him come out a little bit more here. So I made a cast through in spot lock. Dang, probably scared him. Oh no, he's on a bed. He's 100% on a bed. There's a bass on a bed right here. He's looking at my lure. He's on a bed. Come on. Yep. Oh my God. Why, why are you on a bed already? My guy, that's a nice fish. He's definitely on a bed. That's a nice fish. Pre this is a spawning fish. What the heck? No way. No freaking way, dude. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Oh, dude. Why is this fish already on a bed? No cappuccino, dude. What the heck? Like I was saying, I was driving to go sight fishing because the sun came back out and I was rolling over here and you guys probably can't see it, but there's a bed right there. I thought I was like, man, that fish looked like it was on a bed, I swear. Cast it back over there and sure enough, she was on there. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's a bed. I'm gonna go put, him, put her back on her bed just out of respect. All right, her bed's literally right here. I'm gonna put her back right on her bed. All right, see you, my guy. Howdy. How'd well, that go for you? Um, let's say John beat me once again. I'm pretty happy with how I did. I caught my PB largemouth bass, and uh, that thing was a tank. For me, at least. I don't know about you guys, but I thought it was big, and uh, I don't really fish for largemouth. So it was kind of fun catching different species and a lot of pike I snapped off like 50 times. It's pretty dumb, but John clapped him. He said he was sight fishing, which is pretty darn cool. I was just kind of blindly casting, which is just as fun in my opinion. But Johnny boy was catching him on top water too. About time yo man starts winning some challenges, all right? I will say that challenge was not fair at all because the kayak that I had for today's like application was way better than Samuel. Samuel, like you said, he was blind casting. He couldn't stand up because it wasn't stable enough. And I mean, I, on the other hand, I had spot lock. I could stand up and, and I didn't have to paddle. Sam had to paddle everywhere and he couldn't stay in one spot. And you know, it just, it wasn't fair, but I do think in cert certain applications, uh, Sam's kayak would be better than my kayak. And there'll be applications where my kayak's better than his kayak. So it really depends 
and uh, I was proud of both of our performances. Sam caught a big fish, which is super cool. And yeah, the kayaks, they worked great. Other than that, guys, Sam and I don't really have much else for you guys. Again, huge shout out to Carl's for helping out today's video. Um, all of our tackle that we use today and all of our equipment you can find on that website. So definitely go and check it out. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one.